Rudy Giuliani has emerged as an extraordinary figure at this point in the Trump era. I'm not spinning a damn thing. Okay. I'm telling you the truth. He's a longtime friend and associate of Donald Trump's. Both of them are iconic figures in New York City before either of them went into politics. So I want to give a very special thanks to our former mayor, Rudy Giuliani. Please. We are currently seeing Rudy Giuliani emerge in a role unlike any we've seen before in American history. Shut up, Rudy. Shut up. Okay, hold on. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. He is a lawyer, a personal lawyer for the President of the United States, who is volunteering his services to the President while continuing to be under contract with other clients, including clients overseas, some of whom are involved or engaged in the very same political issues that are now haunting the President in this impeachment drama. Uh, Rudy is a great uh, crime fighter, corruption fighter, probably the best in 50 years. Rudy Giuliani made a name for himself prosecuting organized crime, particularly the Italian mob in New York. New York has five organized crime families, has had five organized crime families since the turn of the century. He was aggressive, he was a showman. Donald Trump noticed this young prosecutor, and the prosecutor knew Donald Trump. Giuliani seeks to become mayor of New York. He loses his first bid, but then he is ultimately successful, and he develops a good relationship with one of the leading developers in his city, Donald Trump. Maybe you could tell me what you think of this set. They get along. They both rattle cages. The style of Rudy Giuliani, something of a swashbuckling mayor who was continuing his reputation for being tough on crime. He wanted to clean up New York City. This just in, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Rudy Giuliani was mayor when New York City is under attack. The twin towers of the World Trade Center come down. New York is in a state of panic. The eyes of the world are on New York City. And one of the reassuring personalities who emerged from that rubble was Rudy Giuliani. The fire is still burning, but from it has emerged a stronger spirit, a more unified country, a more unified city, and a more unified world. Striding the streets of New York, urging calm, rallying an extraordinary sense of New York City identity and mobilization and sense of community. And Rudy Giuliani became known then as America's mayor. He's the mayor of New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani, after he leaves uh, public life, was from the moment out of the gates clearly interested in making money. He's picking up lucrative clients around the globe, and he's pursuing this legal career, and he had an incentive to do so. Rudy has had expensive divorce cases, and uh, we know that he has uh, told friends and associates and his lawyers that he needs to make money. Now to the race for the White House, and after decades of very publicly flirting with the idea, Billionaire Donald Trump says he really is running for president. Rudy Giuliani during the 2016 campaign aligns himself again with Donald Trump. He campaigns with Trump. I think what he feels is the establishment is against him and they're rigging the election against him. And after Donald Trump is successful, Giuliani let it be known that he would like to be Secretary of State. He was looking for a big job in the administration. Is the mayor a candidate for Secretary of State, Mr. President-elect? And other things. And other, and other things. There was some concern about Rudy Giuliani being named Secretary of State in the Trump administration, in part because of the range of foreign clients he had already attracted from his years in the private sector. Rudy uh, uh, continues to be active and continues to pursue his lucrative uh, uh, career, but he remains in touch with Donald Trump and as Donald Trump goes through other legal counselors, Rudy Giuliani um, steps into the breach. And the conclusion of the three of us was that if we did not talk to Rudy, nothing would move forward on Ukraine. Giuliani was seen by people in the U.S. State Department, the U.S. Defense Department, and particularly in the National Security Council of the White House as someone who was, in effect, leading what witnesses described as a rogue foreign policy. And the course of that discussion said 
that Rudy Giuliani was a hand grenade that was going to blow everyone up. Witness after witness noticed that Giuliani was reaching out to foreign officials and that he employed his own associates to deliver messages, to, to um, travel overseas, to gather information. That's Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman. I can't wait to come back. See you in Ukraine soon. And uh, these two men who are who, who mention Rudy's name all the time and are seen with him at Trump rallies, Republican political rallies, football games, public events, they, um, have not only been charged by the U.S. Judge, Justice Department, they are apparently a part of a broader investigation that the Southern District of New York U.S. Attorney's Office is continuing, an investigation that includes Rudy Giuliani. Are you willing to testify against Mr. Giuliani? We have seen some of the president's uh, close allies distance themselves from Rudy Giuliani. On the other hand, the president, uh, maybe the weekend after the arrest of uh, Alev Parnas and Igor Fruman, invited Giuliani to meet him at, at one of his golf clubs, and they had lunch together. The president is not distancing himself, at least not yet, from from Rudy Giuliani. There has been a history of the president sometimes distancing himself from people who he was once close to and once lied to when they get in trouble. But where Rudy Giuliani is concerned, we've not seen that yet.